wanted to crawl, uh -huh. and uh, then he got all the waves in his face. So once he can stand, it'll be a little bit more fun, I think. <laughs> <laughs> he was really... Look at those teeth! I had to stand a lot teeth. yesterday. i will stand soon. Can you get a picture like that just on the screen itself? Is there any way of doing that? It's called a snapshot of Skype, but I don't know how to do it. Okay. That's a that's a Mindy face. Mindy used to do that. Where's Walking Man? Something on the button on the bottom. Are you fitting me? Walking Man. Is it the Walking Man. Matan, remember when Walking Man was on my nose? What are you getting? Trying to get the computer. Oh. You don't have a, uh, what do you call it like this? A mouse? Is I do. A, you do? Walking man's on my nose. <laughs> can, can walking man go on your nose? He's doing walking man. Oh, there's Walking Man. <laughs> That's good. Walking I see him. I see. David invented Walking Man for the twins. I do. Can you do that? Matan, can you clap? Can you clap? Where are you going? He wants to get into the television, into the screen. Going yeah, off for a stroll. <laughs> He's leaving us. We'll be back later, folks. Can't get away. <laughs> <laughs> Peekaboo, you came back. Peekaboo. He's adorable. He's having a year and a month. He's really little. <laughs> so hi to Aunt Joyce and Uncle Mike. <laughs> visiting from Florida. Banana? Banana. Can you say banana? My friend Miriam's house today, they have a bowling pool and a big balcony. Yeah. And it's like Miriam, who, there, Miriam, who was in your childbirth class? In that mommy and me class? Yes. What's her baby's name? Mirav? Mirav, yeah. Okay, yeah, I remember them. All our bananas are really overripe. Make some banana cake. So their house is kind of like... to the Seattle Waterfront 2008. There's 40 gondolas on there. There's one black gondola, if you can find it. I spot it. That black gondola on there is the VIP one. It's got four cool weather chairs and a glass bottom. And you've got a fear of heights and avoid that one. Says Port Royal on July 17, 1897. There were 15,000 people standing right here to see if those rumors were true. There were two tons of gold on board that ship. A lot of rich miners. Everybody got gold fever. The whole town went crazy. The mayor quit. He got into the provisioning supply business. Got quite rich. Coffee cans, you're going to want to check this out on the right. That is the very first Starbucks. It is the very first Starbucks that we're going to see on the tour today. You'd be surprised how many people have pictures of that Starbucks, thanks to me. Could be the most photographed Starbucks around. So a lot of Seattle did get quite rich in that Klondike Gold Rush by setting up provisioning stores here. Selling miners. There he is. 
Seattle's hammering man right there. He's 48 feet tall. He weighs 26,000 pounds. He's got buns of steel. <laughs> when they were putting him up, they had these two huge straps. One of them broke. The whole thing slammed into the building. Rumors had it he was hammered. <laughs> he hammers four times a minute while he guards. Seattle Art Museum. Seattle Art Museum. We call it Sam for short. Sam takes up this entire city block right here. Uh, pull a couple levers here real quick. We'll get ready. Hey, Doc, we better back up. We don't have enough roads to get up to 88. Roads? Where we're going, we don't need roads. Oops, one too far. Twenty four. <laughs> You guys want to go in fast or slow? Oh, yes. Slow it is. It's not a democracy here, people. Woo, we did it. We're boat now. Yeah. Put the AC back on. A party hat on. I brought the margaritas. the Seattle skyline, you're going to see a seaplane coming in. Check that out. It's going to land on the lake. Keep an eye on him. He's just below that flying yellow banner. He's... Uh, he might, might be able to make out the flashing lights on the wing tips. He's going to... There's Kenmore Air. They're going to come down and land right on the lake there. Pretty popular way to get around here. We got a lot of hard to reach islands and bays and coves and everything. Seaplanes can get you there a lot quicker usually Whoa, than that's some sailboat. taking roads or anything. Look at that poor sailboat. The beautiful. Yeah. Wow. I love that boat. Hi, the boat. Look up. All right. We'll put some, wow. some music back on for us. Enjoy our time on the lake here. It's like, you, see, you know, like any job, it's got its ups and downs. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. A little bit of Lake Union history too, right over here in the East Lake neighborhood. There used to be a little boathouse, a guy kind of liked to, it was back around 1910 or so, this guy liked to kind of tinker around mechanical things. And then there's a big exposition that came to town and he saw his first ever airplane and he completely flipped out, bought his own airplane, then he promptly broke his airplane. So we call a manufacturer and they said it's going to take us about six months to get your replacement parts for your plane. He said, I love mine, I can't wait, I can build a better plane quicker than you give me replacement parts. And he did. He and a friend built a small little seaplane. By all accounts, it was a great little plane. They floated it out right here and took off. Everything went great. Everybody's like, wow, this is a great airplane. You should make airplanes for a living. And he said, okay, I'll do that. His name was Bill Boeing. That was the first ever Boeing airplane. The B&W seaplane launched from right here in 1916. It go on to deliver airmail and eventually passengers with the seaplanes. In the 1930s, a small company would break off and form their own passenger delivery service. And they would call themselves United Airlines. They named themselves after Lake Union right here. Tied it all together for you right there. All right. Another song for you. Yes, you guys, is this your first time? Yeah. Where you guys from? pretty slow. We're from yeah. here. Right, yeah, but we have uh, out-of-town guests from Florida. Right. Florida? Okay, but that's people from Florida. Awesome. Whoa, that's weird. Where are you from? Orlando. Orlando? Oh, 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 yeah. Orlando. Florida. Florida. This is 
Florence. So we were I talking about Florence. the monorail and which one that? was built first, here or? Here, what is that? They're both built for the fair. Well, well this the first one was done Disney World. Disney World in, in, oh, in California. California. They um, have them in Disney World in I've been Orlando. In I've been in Disney World. I don't think I went on with a little things they drive in between each station. Mm -hmm. Little buses or what they have. You call them. Like, yeah, oh, this is cool. Holy uh, cow. cow. Yes, you check Mount, Mount Rainier out. Yeah, can you see yeah. Mount Rainier? Wait, I want to look out. You can barely yes. see it. Can I look out the door? Yeah, go ahead. Look out yeah. the door. Feels like I'm going to fall. Don't say that. <laughs> You're not going to fall. Well, what if I do? Well, we'll I'll catch you. <laughs> catch you. We'll catch you. I promise. We'll just wash the buttons. I'll hang on to your shirt. Oh, we'll just wash, your wash, your, your, wash your buttons. Oh, okay. <laughs> wash your buttons. Okay. Wash the right, door right, open. Right, right. 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 No. Yeah. Oh, no. no. <laughs> All right, guys. We're here at the top today. Enjoy your time here. You only got close to midnight, so take your time. Thanks. Wait, it's like the top. There's the ducks. Over here is the music thing. EMP, I think, is what they call it.